Let's simplify these three terms and put them into brackets. Raulo, this question has a number in front of the x squared. First step is to times that number by the three on the end. Okay, so that's 18. Nice. Now we want to look for two numbers that times together to make 18, but also add up to make 11. Okay, so nine times two makes 18. Yep, and nine plus two. 11, we got it right on the first try. So now we've found our two numbers. The next step is to rewrite our 11x as 9x plus 2x. And what's the reason for doing that? Because if we simplify these two terms and then these two, we might find they have a little something in common. Ain't nothing else we can do to simplify 2x plus 3, but these two terms both have an x in them which we can pull out. And we can also pull a 3 out from the 6 and the 9, right, yay? Gold star for you, Sydney. Perfect. Now what's special about what we just made? Oh, both of those are times in 2x plus 3. Correct. Here we got 3x amounts of 2x plus three, and then just one two x plus three over here. So how many two x plus threes in total? In total, we got three x and one. So three x plus one times that two x plus three. That's it. We just factorize the expression.